Hello friends from Eastern Pyrenees, Spain. It's Angelina and Dima here from Walking Edge World and we're about to start the long distance hike following the GR trails across the Pyrenees. We've been willing to do this trail for a while now but always had so many different plans for the summer that simply didn't have time before. But this year counting the situation in the world and not being able to travel far away from home we thought that it may be a wonderful opportunity to finally make it happen. We're sure it will be a fascinating hiking trip as we'll discover the most beautiful high mountain part of Pyrenees where we have never been before. Of course we take with us our wilderness backpack with plenty of new items including wood stuff which is a completely new experience for us. And all the camping gear, of course, as we plan on doing bivouac or stealth camping all the way through. So stick with us if you want to discover this beautiful high mountain trail. We think it's enough of introduction now and let's get started with it. This is our first day of hiking GR11 on the Spanish side. As we already said, we are starting from Cerdania Valley and we are going to move towards Andorra. If you don't know the history of GR trails in Europe, these are very similar to the AT or PCT in the US that can extend for many miles in the distance and they cross along all the European countries. So you can choose almost any direction and you'll find one that will suit you better. And the term GR itself stands for the Grand Randonnée or the Great Trail. So our plan for today is to make first 12 kilometers from the village Gil de Sardania and get closer to Andorra. We want to start it easy and do less kilometers, as we know less is more in long distance hiking, especially in the mountains. We know that the whole trail probably would be quite tedious as the elevation change each day would be quite big. But we'll try to tackle it with the slow approach and see if it helps. So let's get this day started. Right now we're going fully loaded with lots of food supplies, dry snacks and everything for a long hike. Also because for three days straight we won't meet any supermarket to resupply. So the weight of my backpack is going up to 16 kilograms, which is not normal. I carry more of a normal weight for me, like six and a half kilograms, because I carry mostly like sleeping bags and sleeping pads, stuff. And he must carry always the food supplies, so he's like a tough guy. Yeah, so our aim is to carry around 12 to 15 kilograms right 12 to 14 maybe and we hope as we're gonna eat more these days we are gonna decrease this weight so yeah really hope we can handle it behind me you can see the gr sign white and red straps that we're going to follow all the way along and this is like the universal sign that you see for all the gr trails so this is the challenging part of it is to find out which of the jar, because there's typically no numbers on it. But we hope it's gonna be nice, the marking, and gonna use the GPS just in case, and gonna follow the trail, right, like that. The weather today is super hot, right from the start. Of course, we started today a bit late, actually much later than we planned to start our days at 10 a.m. Yeah, and we feel like the sun is really getting at us. It's like super hot day. We're really looking forward to the weather to establish, like the warm weather, to be able to sleep comfortably in the mountains, you know, with our summer sleeping bags. But yeah, the days are really hot, so we have to plan our hike early in the morning, like the most of our trail. So the next days we plan to start our trails at 8 a.m. and get up probably at 6 a.m. This would be the wiser decision. So we're already sweating a lot and really hope that now the tree line will start because there is no single shadow. Hi. 
after a few kilometers of a sunny uphill with no shadow, we finally start to meet the trees. In this way we may be able to do it. We should have our siesta time by now, normally, but today we have to walk in the sunny hot hours. that we came out to the mountain plain we have a little bit of wind coming from this side that was blocked by the uphill that we were doing so now it's just cooling off a bit our bodies and it feels so nice middle day break now going to have a lunch we already did over halfway for today right yeah and all is left for us is around five kilometers to do more of an uphill but we think it's gonna be quite gentle so yeah it is really hot so gonna have a little bit of break now and keep going like it's finally time to take out my trekking poles as you may see now I'm walking with them and if you haven't seen our previous video where we tell you our story with the trekking poles that it is actually our first time when we take them for the long distance hike and we're very excited to try them out because the last year on our two demand one hike by the way if you haven't watched this series go ahead and watch it it's a really beautiful but was really challenging for us and especially for our knees because we didn't have any extra support with the trekking poles so for this time on the mountain trek we decided to take them with us and see if they help out so it may seem ridiculous but we're probably the last ones who are carrying the trekking poles the last hikers it's better late than never we'll see how it works We're doing our last kilometers for today and we're almost at the planned destination Estansek where we plan to search for the camp spot. You're right, we can see that here in the region there are several refugee houses or similar looking buildings. There is always planned to be stuff camping tonight and we see that there are maybe a lot of possible spots here in the forest. Hopefully we'll find a nice one. I think we have found potentially flat camp spot for tonight. It is not really ideally flat, it's got a lot of unevenness, but in the mountains we can't complain. And when we find more or less flat terrain, we're happy with it, so I think we're gonna camp here. And now all is left for us for today is to have a bit of a shower from our water containers, 
as we normally have if you watched our previous videos like improvised showers uh, under the sky also we're going to try our wood stove for the first time it's not technically the first time it's the second time for the first time we're just testing it out but today we're actually going to cook our grains our cereal and see how it works uh, we're really excited to try it out because this time we're going to hike as independent as possible we decided to take our wood stove with us we did take our camping gas and gas stove still in case because we think the wood stove wouldn't work very well when it's you know raining bad weather or just in cases when we will be late to our camp and wouldn't have time to just really put up a fire and stuff so in these cases the gas stove and camping gas would be really handy but we have a lot of expectations for a wood stove this time we think it would save us you know a lot of hustle to search for the camping gas because normally you know it's very rare to find in little villages along the trail especially here in the mountains there are no big cities you can find and and no big shops really so these were our thoughts and the first reason why we decided to buy wood stove because we can't live without the hot food like the hot meals and this is just our lifesaver so we're gonna show you today how it works and yeah gonna test it out we're going to collect some little branches and dry needles and I think like dry cones will work as well to just start off the fire we don't have really much experience with it but we'll try our best the dry things seem to work like the dry moss we found that it fires up quite quickly so it's nice to put up a fire I think to heat up like half liter of water instead of all the water container like two liters that we have because uh, we think that it will be enough just to be able to take a shower comfortably <laughs> and with the warm water even though right now it's quite hot so it would be even nice to take a cold shower but we like it to be more comfortable one of our concerns with this wood stove was like how easy it would be to spot us for the people because we always try hard to be as discreet as possible because as you may know obviously the fire gives the, a lot of smoke and fumes but now we can see that it actually doesn't go a long way so it just the our wood stove is here and it goes like up till the trees and then it's kind of dissolves in the air just because this wood stove is very very little and it doesn't give much fire and doesn't need a lot of fuel and so it doesn't give a lot of smoke so this is a nice feature of it. So our water boiled in around 10 minutes or so. And now it's time to prepare some food. And after around 15 minutes, our meal is all ready to eat. Looks yummy. Our meal for today is the mix of wheat, different kind of wheat, which you will find very filling, and just cherry tomatoes and our dry bread. So we had our dinner now and are getting ready to get to sleep. The trail today it wasn't too difficult. We were hiking mostly uphill, but it was quite gentle, not extreme at all. If it wasn't for the hot weather and hot sun and almost no single shadow on the trail. Right, it was killing us a lot. We were sweating like crazy all day long. Fortunately, we had a shower now, so we're feeling much better. So tomorrow for sure we're going to start at 8 a.m. Not later because we feel like the weather is now quite hot. It is actually the very end of July now and so you can imagine that it's like summer like weather. Fortunately we like it a lot because then we're able to sleep comfortably but then you have to make a sacrifice to get up earlier than normal. We would you know prefer so we'll get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. It's gonna be our challenge to follow this routine. Yeah. Uh, all the next days, all the following days, we'll try to keep up with this habit. Today we did 900 meters uphill, which isn't much, and the combination of different trails was helping a lot. Marking on the trail it was quite good, 
all day long. Yes, it was a pleasant surprise for us. We can see that the paint is quite fresh, so probably they made it not so long ago, which is nice. And we barely used our GPS navigation, which we enjoy not using, because then we can just enjoy the trail and go with the flow, so it was good. And we hope it will continue the same way the next days. We met almost no people on the trail, which was a surprise, because now it's like hot season of hiking. And there's not much people. Rather than just crowds close to the parking spots, we haven't seen any hikers, but maybe it will change um, tomorrow or next day. We'll see. Overall, we can say that it was quite a tedious day for us because we carried a big weight on our shoulders, as we said previously. But fortunately, as the weight decreases the next days, we're gonna suffer less and enjoy more of the trail. And also the early start would help a lot too. So we can say that we are off to a good start. It was a successful day for us. Now we're off to go to sleep. As we feel quite tired, it's getting late. And we'll see you tomorrow, guys. See you. Bye. Good night. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this hiking trip. If so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!